It's the Full Force News Burst brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com with me, Diagnostic 80. It's image and video-tastic as a select few start getting their grubby mitts on classified figures. When a small amount of cheeky G.I. Joe classified series appeared much earlier than expected and then subsequently ended up on eBay shortly thereafter, we started to see a slew of images and video reviews showing off these remarkable figures. The deluge has not slowed down either, with even more images of the box art and loose figures popping up yesterday and late last night, courtesy of Erevira94 on Instagram. Not only have we had really good looks at Snake Eyes, Destro, Duke and Scarlet over the last few days, but now we are getting close-ups and scale comparison images of the meatiest of all the traffic obstacles, Roadblock. He is clearly the largest in the range with arms that Dutch Schaefer himself would be jealous of. An interesting note to be made is that of the tattoo on his arm. A number of people have been discussing this on the Facebook page and none other than the original G.I. Joe a real American hero artist Ron Rudat suggested that it looks like a lion or a tiger. I would fully expect the tattoo to be a tiger as a nod to Roblox Tiger Force release way back in 1988 and would be a great little additional easter egg on what already looks like a really awesome figure. He is a good head size over Duke in the shots and look at the arm difference. Wow. Even though Destro looks to be a little smaller in the group shot, it looks like he is set back a touch and brought forward a bit would probably have him coming in at the same height as Duke. Some people have expressed concern about that, obviously, because it's the internet, where there's just no time to be positive, but I think having Roblox as the standout behemoth was a good shout and adds to his individuality in the group of figures. Erevira94 also posted an image of the boxes lined up showing the side art and barcode info for the real nerds. I kid, I'm literally one of them. The art looks sensational all lined up, and I love the individuality of each piece. As it stands, the official street date is still locked in for the 1st of June, so the rest of us will all have to be very patient before getting these highly anticipated action figures in hand. Hurry up, yeah? That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, me. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force